Hi, I'm Gladys. Welcome to my channel. In this video, let's see what is metal semiconductor junction. What is a junction? So materials like semiconductor, metals, insulators are joined together to form electronic devices. So the interface between these materials is called the junctions. These junctions may affect the electrical properties of the materials. Ideal junctions do not affect the properties. So the types of junctions are metal-metal junction, semiconductor-semiconductor junction and metal-semiconductor junction. It is again divided into scott key junction and ohmic junction. First, let's see about Fermi level of metal and semiconductors. So, Fermi level is the highest energy level occupied by the electrons in the material at absolute zero temperature. So the energy level of conduction band consists of the electrons which are responsible for conduction. These electrons jump up from the valence shell and become free. The energy level of the valence band consists of the electrons in the valence shell. So these are the Fermi levels of metals, N-type semiconductor and P-type semiconductor. So since metals are conductors, the Fermi level and the energy level of the conductors are same. Here the energy, uh, here the energy level of the conduction band and the Fermi level is same. So in N-type, it is doped with pentavalent impurity. So it has more free electrons. The majority carriers are the electron. So here the Fermi level is near the conduction band. And P-type are doped with trivalent impurity. So here the majority carriers are holes. So here the Fermi level is near the valence band. So what is metal semiconductor junction? So as the name says, metal semiconductor junction is metals and semiconductors are joined together to form electronic devices. There are mainly two types of metal semiconductor junction, Scott key barrier and ohmic contact. In Scott key barrier, phi m is greater than phi semiconductor and here the phi m is lesser than the phi semiconductor that is the distance between the Fermi level and the vacuum level is called as the work function phi. This is the energy band diagram before metal semiconductor contact. So the above figure shows the Fermi level, the energy level of conduction and valence band of metals and semiconductor before they are joined. So here in metal, the energy level of the conduction band and the Fermi level is same. Here in sem N-type semiconductor, this is the Fermi level. This is the energy level of conduction band and this is the energy level of the valence band. So this is the energy band diagram after metal semiconductor contact. So when the metal and the semiconductor come in contact, the Fermi level of both metal and semiconductor tend to become equal. So the energy level of conduction band of the semiconductor is higher than the Fermi level. Here, uh, after contact, a depletion zone is formed. So the electrons from higher energy level tend to flow to lower, lower energy level. So the electrons in the conduction band decreases and the distance between the Fermi level and the energy level of the conduction band decreases. So the electrons which are moved from higher energy level to lower energy level leaves holes behind which are positive ions. So thus the depletion zone is formed and the width of the depletion zone depends on the amount of impurity added. For, uh, next we will see about Scott key barrier. So the depletion layer is formed in the semiconductor due to the transfer of electrons from semiconductor to metal. Thus, the Scott key barrier is formed at the junction of n-type semiconductor and the metal. So this is the energy band diagram of Scott key barrier. 
the depletion layer formed in the semiconductor extends and thus the bend is formed in the energy band diagram of semiconductor so from the figure we can observe that the work function phi m is larger than the work function of the semiconductor phi n so there is a built in potential formed in the schottky barrier the work function of the metal remains constant but the work function of the semiconductor depends on the doping concentration the barrier which is formed prevents the electrons to move from metal to semiconductor and from semiconductor to metal the schottky barrier is denoted by phi b and is given by phi b is equal to phi m minus hn where hn is the electron affinity of n type semiconductor the types of schottky barrier there are two types of bias applied to schottky barrier they are forward bias and reverse bias uh, first is forward bias when external voltage is applied and forward bias the positive terminal is connected to the metal and the negative terminal is connected to the n type semiconductor the electrons receives more energy to the, uh, cross the junction barrier and move from n type semiconductor to the metal and thus the current starts to flow the current is due to the drift of majority charge carriers since there is no p type semiconductor there is no holes and thus no minority carriers so this is the energy band diagram during forward bias so from the figure we observe that when forward biased the fermi level of the metal is lower than the fermi level of the semiconductor so the schottky barrier phi b decreases across the semiconductor that is a depletion layer is formed here which makes the electrons to diffuse uh, easily from semiconductor to metal so here the depletion layer is very small in size so it is very easy for the electrons to diffuse from semiconductor to the metal because of this movement of electrons a positive current is formed across the junction and this is the energy band diagram during reverse bias so when reverse bias the positive terminal is connected to the n type semiconductor and the negative terminal is connected to the metal the size of the depletion region increases here the size is more the depletion layer size is more here the size of the depletion uh, region increases and the current stops to flow there is only small amount of leakage current when applied voltage is increased further the current increases and when increased further the depletion region breaks down which damages the device permanently when we observe from the figure the fermi level of the metal is higher than the level, fermi level of the semiconductor so the potential across the barrier increases and blocks the electrons from diffusing from semiconductor to metal next is ohmic contact so potential barrier is not formed at all cases when metal and semiconductor is joined so in that case when no potential barrier is formed it is called as ohmic contact or ohmic junction so here the work function of metal phi m is lesser than the work function of the semiconductor phi semiconductor the electrons move from metal to semiconductor and thus the fermi level of the semiconductor moves up till equilibrium state is formed since there is no barrier even a small forward bias will produce large forward bias current and when reverse bias is applied small barrier is formed but it is removed when reverse bias is increased further this is the va characteristics from the above figure we observe that in the schottky barrier during forward bias the current increases after the electrons overcomes the potential barrier at the junction and during the reverse bias the depletion layer increases and thus only very small amount of current flows so in the ohmic contact since there is no potential barrier small amount of uh, bias produces large current both in forward and reverse bias so thank you for watching if you like the video please like share and subscribe